Well, isn't this a bit of a surprise? I don't think anyone's quite done this before. Um, basically what made me want to do this, I'm gonna, before I show you the actual figure itself, I just want to go through some previous history. I mean, I've been, I was playing in the game, and basically, um, I mean, if I just show you right now, this, if I get my computer screen, and sort out there, that is what he's supposed to look like, and that is his robot mode right there, and again, that's most upgrade, that's like level 7 upgrade um, and that's what he mostly looks like he has both the shoulders there's a few minor differences um, I've got another one here this is an actual screenshot in the game because I have it on my iPod which is actually what I'm using to film uh, as you can probably see right there <laughs> um, as you can see this is a another screenshot in the game there he is in the tank mode and um, we will get onto the actual thing in a minute and being a bit stupid with the camera, I can't control very well. But yeah, you get the whole point. That's the screenshot in the game. I mean, his vehicle mode. Um, and basically, what made me want to start doing this figure is because I saw the telepod versions and the paint job was. In fact, I will. Here's here's another screenshot of his vehicle mode. Right there. You could probably. Yep. As you can see, that's sort of it there. This was before the update, which allows you to put accessories on it. Which, because of that update, I can now get a full 360 view of how it look, the character looks before I actually build them. Um, basically, here is, I mean, I mean, here's here's a more here's a clear review of the tank mode. That's a more clear variant because, as you can see, I just tweeted the bolt matrix. Oh, uh, as you can see, the there. And all that. I shouldn't have showed you there, it's a bit of a spoiler. But um, here's the telepods version. This is it in its robot mode. This is it in its tank mode. And the paint job's completely off. And it's just not good at all. And, and even the Sentinel Prime, I mean, come on. That's just lazy painting. They've got bits right, but it's just terrible, the paint job. If I had ever bought these, I'd probably could paint them all up to make them look better. Um, but yeah. That was my biggest problem. The telepod version of Bludgeon just sucked. And I wanted to... I mean, telepods are... They're okay. Some achieve the looks better than others. Bludgeon is not one of them. And I became pretty obsessed with his character at that point. And then I started taking tons of screenshots of the transformation. Two of them um, actually uh, were the one with the pinnacles. Two of them were the ones that got me thinking the engineer, and two of them were the ones that kick-started off. So I'll just show you those real quick. Uh, we will get to three in a second. This is a bit of pain, I know. Uh, as you can see, uh, you remember the purple bits are on the side. Uh, they look to become his arms, and these back treads look to become his legs. And these just hang about anywhere in robot mode. So that is that. And then I'm just using that for light. And if we go here, as you can see, they flip the head around. And they become his um. They become his legs and all that. So basically, he grabs his face and flips it around. I couldn't engineer that, but I could get it very close. Pardon me. Um. Basically, let's get on to the figure itself. Uh, this is, I am pretty excited about this because this took me weeks to engineer, like literally and day and it took no it took days to engineer watching the animation over and over and then building them took ages because i did it in college um, and just because when i have a spare you know some spare time to myself in college i just you know i get a load i get plastic sheeting and uh, i built them out of it and i use the um as well as roll uh the paint i use as well um is uh the paint this is very very good paint uh that i show you this is the highest quality model paint that is a horrendous image too small uh here we go that's just basically the paints that i use not those colors but you get the point and they are really really good paints and the only way to get them off if it well, the only way to get them off is with something called terps or white spirit um the colors that were used 
was the green is emerald on this guy. Uh, a lot of gloss colours were used. Uh, there was one matte colour and one metallic colour. Um, and you know what, actually, I can tell you're probably getting very impatient now. Let's get on with it itself. Uh, just getting back to Google so I can get some better light. Um, i use a computer screen here for light. Here he is. He is much sleeker than his in-game variants, but he doesn't have that stupid block that was in there. I personally didn't really like that very much, I thought it looked a bit stupid. But yeah, um, there is actually a bit of a paint miss problem, I meaning I got this wrong. There, those lights are upside down. <laughs> yeah, um, what can I say, I was really happy with this guy, to, this guy turned out. And his likeness in his face is not perfect to the one in the game. But it's something that's very difficult. Galvatron, however, his likeness is better. But there's one problem with both him and Bludgeon. Their smiles look really creepy. <laughs> I mean creepy. <laughs> like proper creepy. Um, but yeah, here he is. You can see his cannon. Uh, it is a circuit. It is a triangular barrel. Just because uh, it was, again, this was the first one I've ever built that officially had this. And, um, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, the back pieces, and, and all the bit, all the robot junk is visible in here. You're practically looking at a robot, and as you saw in the images as well, the head sticks out. Uh, this actually, this head actually rotates, which is really cool. The cannon doesn't move; nothing else moves. But yeah, again, the tank mode it does sit quite nicely, and uh, it's not perfect. Again, this guy is homemade, so that tread is tilted. Um, again, this is my take on what a Generations Voyager class variant would look like. Because this guy is pretty big. He's um he's Voyager class. This guy uh, because I actually compared him to another one. He he definitely matches Voyager class. Although he feels like a deluxe, which is a bit ironic. Um, but yeah, um, he does have a bit of parts forming his transformation, which we will get into. In fact, let's get in fact the transformation now. Um, parts forming is this one section. The cannon removes, and there's two little pieces in there folding. The they act as springs, and you'll see why in a second. But yeah, um, Galvatron does have that as well because it's one of his arms in the game. It's cannon, as you saw in the images on the, um, you know. And the next piece is flip up this head. Like that. Uh, now you're probably thinking, where the hell are his legs? These are not his legs actually. Trust me. I think you'll like this bit. These are his arms, so we pull them, and that is a hole in there because that is, you know, where the hand fits into. Um, and you just twist these out, and then these will fold down. This guy has been tweaked a bit. I stuffed some cardboard between the joints on the legs and the ways to stiffen them up a bit, and then I also did the same on the heads. Probably this piece of cardboard right there, just to stiffen it up because it kept on flopping downward and he actually you know he can hold a pose and just like most action figures he will fall over I don't mind. um then you flip up these shoulders and as you saw in the actual image um i'll show you he does actually have these so these are an upgrade characteristic same with the crest this then turns and the same with the other and the hand actually rotates as well this guy's got a lot of articulation which is really cool because this guy most of him is experimental uh, Galvatron also has the same articulation, but with a bit of a difference in the feet. Now, this this is his legs packed here. This is this is where I think I really did well with this. This is where I think that the end my you know the thought went really well. You'll love the leg articulation; it's brilliant. These fold up, and then these come to the side. And you probably guessed already that that is just gonna swing right down there. And that is basically more or less the legs, and these, just like the actual game itself, they fold up there. I'm going to paint those sides, it, it, this guy just takes a lot of time. Um, and he's still got his abs there, as you probably saw in the animation. Um, and then these just... fold down like that. And the final step is to take this. This is a little tricky to put on, because these two pieces in here do act like springs, which is it's good because it keeps them in. And um, Now, it is a bit inaccurate on the fact that the cannon is long, but that was to compensate for time over. And it actually looks pretty good like this. Um, so, yeah. Ooh. His head's going a bit funny again. 
Uh, this this little loopy piece here, you probably can't see it. It, it kind of functions a bit like a spring to keep the head in place. Um, here he is. Uh, he's pretty much all like Piper. <laughs> he's built like clear plastic, and I painted him. Probably should have crashed there. This guy is all hand painted. Um, really, really, really happy with how this guy turned out. Again, the treads on the back. This guy just looks perfect. He pretty much is perfect. He is a perfect representation of that. The cannon's too long, but you saw the images. In fact, if I grab them up for a sec, um, I mean, like I just uh, just uh, give me a sec. Uh, zoom in, and then the image is a bit pixelated. I'll just fold that down. You can sort of see. Christ, it's not good lighting at all. You can sort of see the resemblance, the face. It's kind of difficult to get it right. And this was really difficult, this guy. Uh, and that is a very pixelated image, but... Yeah, um... You get the point. Now, articulation-wise. This is why I'm pretty impressed with this guy. Because most of the transformation with walls around is articulation. Um, this is going to be pretty surprising. A Especially the legs. Um, his head can rotate. So, you know, you can look left and right. Um, his arms can rotate 360 degrees. They can go in and out. And just like most action figures, when you rotate them down, the shoulders like to go down as well. I don't know why that happens. It's not gravity. Because I mean, they hold up perfectly fine. He bends at the elbow. He swivels at the elbow. He rotates at the wrist. That's just, I just wanted to put that in, you see. And his waist rotates, as you saw. His legs go forward and back. They bend at the knee. They have two foot joints in there. Like two joints, so you can probably see that going up and down a bit. There's a joint in there. And there's also a joint there. Now... Here's where things get pretty crazy for the legs. They swivel here, but that's not all. Yep. And let me tell you, that was very fiddly. Very, very fiddly to do. And, <laughs> again, I was just pretty shocked. When I built the whole thing, I was just saying to myself, wait, did I actually do that? Because I had never created something like this guy before. Ever. He is the first... But he's not the only, because Galvatron's been done. And I'll put it this way, I think you'll like him. His alt mode does not fit together as well as this guy. There are a few gaps. But Galvatron has chrome on him. Like, his whole torso is chrome. And it's not chrome-like. It's not, um... What I mean chrome isn't it's a chrome spray paint. It's not like... It doesn't look like Gal... Like, this here. It doesn't look like... This is mirror chrome. It doesn't look like that. Which is a shame, but it's still it's a good looking chrome nonetheless. It's a very, it's a chrome effect silver, very very shiny silver silver spray paint. I sprayed him um, on Monday this week, um, and you know I've just been painting all the details by hand. Uh, again, this guy. Um, once Galvatron is built, and I really hope that this video gets seen by millions of people in the world because. Uh, this is this is the only, this is probably the first. This is the only time someone's done something like this, as far as I know. And I have Asperger's syndrome, so that in a way has is a, is a double because that means I can think outside of the box. I think like there's no box, so I will obsess enough that I watch the animation over and over and over until I've got it. I know how to engineer him. That's what I did. And let me tell you now, this guy was hard to build. I started with his arm, and this torso is three separate pieces. This piece, this piece, and the front piece, along with the abs and all that. And this guy took a lot of building. Multiple sheets of plastic were used. You know stuff like laminate, when you like get a piece of paper and you want a plastic outline? That's what this guy was used. But there was no paper in it. Just pure plastic. Galvatron has the same. But some of the joints are splitting a bit on him, like some of the plastic's a bit warping apart. But, I mean, you'd barely be able to tell. But again, Bludgeon is very unique. In fact, I'm going to cut here now and I'm going to show you what he is like with posing.
I don't know about you guys, but if that isn't posing, then I don't know what is. Because literally, oh, those are the photos I showed you. Well, yeah, I mean, look at this. That took me two, like, a minute to sort out. And yeah, you know, just like an ordinary action figure, you knock him enough, he's going to fall over, see? Just like an ordinary action figure, but you get the point. The guy can pose. And just look at that face. Very, very... Piggy. <laughs> Again, I just, I just love everything about this guy. This is all hand-painted. Like, the head's round as well. This was very difficult to... Or tape. I use sellotape and tape and all that, and a load of it, with a bit of duck black tape there, just kind of, you know, when I'm fixing up. Cardboard in there again to stiffen the joints and stop the leg from wobbling. But, again, overall, this guy has just turned out really well, and I'm actually really happy with this. Um, but yeah, again, you know, this guy's just a massive deal for me. It means a lot to me, because I've never been able to do something like this before in my life. At least not to this extent. Most of the previous versions were crap. And this guy beats them all. So, that's been the video review for Angry Birds, Transformers, Decepti Hogs. <laughs> Very good play on words. Um, Bl King Pig as Bludgeon. And as you can see. And that's the accessory page, I took a screenshot on my iPod. Uh, but yeah, um, again, please rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and post in comments which one you will want to see me build next. Because I've pretty much unlocked most of them, I've even got Thundercracker, and I'm level 106. Uh, check out my Facebook page, my Twitter and again, just share this video all around, and hopefully the guys at Hasbro will see it, because maybe they'll, who knows, hire me to design these as a Generations line. But yeah, this has been Ignicus Icarus, the Archangel, showing off my creation bludgeon, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!